Market news and views by Intermoney Stocks. Today is June 24, 2015. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in. So we're going to start off with the S&P 500 E-mini futures. You're going to see that the futures are trading lower by about six points this morning. So right now they're at 21, I believe they're at 21, 10 and a half per contract. That's a decent little dip to start the day. Uh, we'll see if this market can settle itself out. The volume this light has been this, this week has been very very light, and as long as you have light volume, you normally you'll have a, a market that will stay somewhat buoyant. But um, again, futures are down about six points right now, so we do want to take notice of that, and we'll see how this market plays out today. We did have some economic data out. We had some GDP news just released a little while ago. I don't think we can make much out of it. Um, but either way, uh, we'll just watch where this market trades. Market was down before the GDP came out anyway. So let's take a look at some stocks in the news. We're going to start off with Lennar Corp. There's a major home builder. Stock is having a real good reaction to its earnings. It closed at $49, I believe, yesterday. It's trading at 50, uh, 51 39 now. The stock, believe it or not, though, is overbought on the daily chart. So if you own Lennar, you trail your stop loss. Right now, it is getting a positive reaction. If the stock does come back down, um, then you'll have to be a little bit more uh, concerned. But right now, it is holding up pretty well, so I don't really see any fault with it at the moment. Let's take a look at Monsanto. They also had earnings. Um, this stock is trading at $113, closed at $112.78, so it's a minor, minor uptick. I would not rule out if the stock comes down um, below yesterday's close, which was 112.78, that this could go test 111. Right now, I am showing some minor support around the 111 area for Monsanto if it does get down there. On the upside, I'm really not seeing anything great. So again, let this one play out, but we, we will be looking at this one once the opening bell rings at 9.30 in the intraday stock chat. If you have not done so, you can come over, take a seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat. We've had a stellar 2015, and we're going to look to keep that going today. Netflix is in the news. NFLX uh, is the ticker symbol there. It looks like the company has decided to split seven for one. So again, Netflix right now is in the news. We'll see how it plays out once it splits. Um, generally, generally when a stock splits like this, um, it could get a little initial run up and then a sell off. So you know, just take that into consideration. But we'll look at the chart. We'll just do whatever the chart tells us to do. But Netflix has been a monster of a stock as of late. But it is a little bit overbought. Let's take a look at Fortinet FTNT. Um, I believe this stock is down on uh, on a downgrade. Um, either way, it closed at 43.21. It's now trading at 42.10. The only level that I really like for the equity would be much lower, around 38 and a quarter. I love the stock at that level um, today. If it does get down there, I'm not sure we're going to see that. But if it does happen, in sympathy um, to this one, you could look at FEYE, -E, which is FireEye. Uh, but that's already caught a good little bounce off of the lows. That did trade down to around the 4950 area, but it has bounced up already. But um, again, Fortinet is trading lower. Next one on my radar is BOX. It looks like this company has signed an agreement with IBM for cloud services. Right now, Box has been a stock that has really um, underperformed. Now it's trading at 1857, closed at 1758. Believe it or not, it's overbought here. I'm going to give the stock the upside bias to around 1885, 1890. I don't really see it getting above that level. Let's take a look at VMware this morning. This stock had a good uh, reaction over the past couple days. It's moving up again today. It looks like Goldman added it to its conviction buy list. I don't know if I want to make much out of that. But when I look at the chart here, I'm showing uh, this 92.50 level being pretty good resistance. If the stock can get through there, then it does have upside to a r probably around 94. But right now, even at 92.50, I think there's a ton of resistance here. So be careful if you own it. I would start to trail the stop immediately. Okay. Um, looking over at the gold market this morning, gold futures are down $5.30 to $1,171.30 an ounce. Let's take a look at the GLD this morning. You're going to see the GLD is moving lower down to 112.33. So gold just does not have any momentum to the upside at this point in time. Let's take a look at the uh, oil market. US, uh, we'll go with crude futures. They're down 11 cents to $60.90 a barrel. If we take a look at the USO, you're going to see that 
is trading right around 2040 so no real movement there but either way um, we'll watch the US dollar index which is on the left side of the screen here if the dollar starts to pull back um, that would be a positive for gold and a positive for oil. The dollar moves up, that will be a negative for gold and a negative for oil. But you always want to look at the charts whenever uh, you're viewing anything. All right, with that being said, everybody, I'm going to leave it here short and sweet. Looks like the futures right now are still down five and three quarter points. No real movement there. They were actually down lower around 5 30, 6 o'clock in the morning. They have come back a little bit. But again, looks like we're going to have a week open today, and we'll see how this plays out once the opening bell rings. With that being said, have a great trading day, everyone. Come on over to the Intraday Stock Chat. Trade right alongside of us. With that being said, have a great day. We'll see you on the charts.